from animation to creation, I'm going to show you how I use these five AI websites in order to create anything that I can think of. This is a website where you can create an animated drawing just from a simple still image. Upload a photo. Usually you want to pick a photo that is a standalone picture of a person or a drawing with only one image on it. And using AI, it's going to move it. So after I have my image downloaded, so now what I can do is I can shorten this image so that it only covers my beautiful stick figure. So now it's going to identify what's going on with it. If you don't want it to highlight a certain part of the stick figure, you can always erase parts of it that you don't want it to get into its animation. And this is just saying that there's parts that are stuck together, like that there's an inside, you can segment it out because on the next step, you're going to make sure that these are exactly where you want them to be because these are your motion capture points. What's going to happen is once I click next, it's going to start moving the still image in different ways. You want to make sure that that's perfectly aligned. And there you have it. It's a fully animated image. And it's got all these different poses that you can click on. The next tool that I want to show you is this tool by Replicate. This website's been around for a while, but I just discovered some other things that I can do with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Explore. They have all these different things that you can use. So you can create 3D models, you can do audio generation. And what I like to do with this is I've used image to text before, but there's a lot of websites for that as well. What I have not seen before as this over here, which is the image restoration and shout out to Futurepedia for turning me on to most of these websites. I've learned a lot about these different AI tools that I would not have known without them. And he's been a big inspiration for this video. What I can do is I can go to image restoration, which will take a not so clear image and upscale it so that it looks a lot better. So I can pick any of these. For right now, I'm just going to stick with this, this one. So what I can do is I can drag and drop a photo into here, and I'm going to pick one that I know is not the clearest. What I can do with this tool is it allowed me to take a blurry image and make it much clearer. I'm going to come down here. If you notice, it's actually a profile picture for my channel. So what I can do is I can come over here. So I'm going to run it and it only takes a couple seconds. And when I scroll up here, the image just pops up and you can see night and day the difference. It is so much clearer. So all I have to do is download it. I'm going to download the image and now I have it right on my desktop. Videogram, any prompt you want, literally says describe what you see. Any image, you can choose the style, you can choose. There are a lot of different parameters that you can change. You just have to be specific. So the more specific you are with the prompt, the more clear and better your image is going to be. It's all up to you. And now I can choose, I want it to be a 3D render. I can choose a cinematic, I can choose a painting. I've always liked the cinematic look, so I'm going to choose that. But again, you can see them all and choose exactly what you want. And you can choose lucky styles, so it'll, it'll make it a random one. Okay, and then it'll generate it. A lot of these tools only take a couple seconds to create your own image. A potato flying through the air, attached to a parachute, looking pretty cinematic. Next website that I'm going to show you is called Playground. It's similar to Ideogram, but instead of just being able to generate an image, you're going to be able to generate an image and then edit it on the spot. So let's try it. I'm going to come over here and type up a prompt. So let's type up mm, a sponge in the air doing a, uh, doing a cartwheel. Okay. And then I'm going to click generate. So what I came up with was a human with a sponge for a head instead. So with this, it's going to be very specific. So what I can do is come over here and modify it. But instead of doing it over here, I can come to the canvas. What a canvas does is I can actually type in, I click generate. This one takes a little bit longer, but it's still not too bad. It's giving me all these helpful hints, which I love.
because what happens is there's a lot on this website and a lot with this tool that if you want, let me know down below and I'll make a whole separate video about all the different tools that this has. But it's giving me hints every time I go about because there's just so much to do. So what I can do is I can download it from here. I can remove the background. I can erase certain parts of it. So let's say I don't like whatever this is. I can come over here and erase it. And it got rid of it. Hey, I can come over here. I don't know what this is doing. So let's get rid of this erase. So now what I can do is I can come over here and click image to image and it's going to bring the image over here. So now I can choose and sample this. I can choose any one of these prompts. This one was pretty cool. I just chose a cinematic view, but you know, what? let's go to dream shaper. That sounds kind of cool. I can expand the prompt, right? So if I wanted other specific traits, I can do that. And I'm going to click generate. And it's going to generate a wholly new image that's based on this one, but with other parameters around it. So the more specific you are with this, the better it's going to be. This was just a sample, but I can come over here. And if I wanted to just exclude, I wanted to just exclude real realism from this, right? And I didn't want to expand it. And instead I wanted to do ooh, pixel art. This is going to decide how closely related to the image this this new image is so it says here if i go to 100 it's going to be the exact same image so let's go to 75 percent instead and now let's see what happens not very close to this image but you can still see it still has sand still on the water still has things around it but it was blurry it's taking this image right here and trying to do it so now that we have a strength of 75 now it's going to be a little bit closer and so now we went from this image to this image and then back to this image and i didn't change anything it just made it into pixel art so now that i have this image i can change different aspects of it even more right so i can add a negative prompt if i wanted to from over here i can change Opacity, I can change the brightness, I can change the contrast. I can also come over here and again just draw on it if I wanted to. But instead of drawing it, right, maybe I wanted to generate another image on top of this and do it that way. So there are a million different things that you can do with this. It's really just up to your imagination. The last tool that I wanted to show you is actually a Discord tool. It's called Suno. So when you download it, you come over here. But the tool that I wanted to show you is it's music creation. So this is an amazing AI tool that will let you choose a prompt. And you can come over here and type in chirp. The first thing that pops up literally tells you, right, makes a song from lyrics. You click enter. And when you do that, it's going to bring this prompt up. And what this prompt tells you is to describe the music. So what I'm going to do is I want it to show, to, let's choose jazz. A starfish that wishes he was with his best friend named Sponge. And I can come over and I can click submit. I'm going to have to wait, but eventually it will come up with a new video. So it does come up with my lyrics first, which is kind of cool. And then it takes about a minute and a half for the video to pop up. Okay, so it's finally finished. So now let's take a listen to this one. What a beauty. Now yeah, that's a little bit uh a little bit interesting. So let's see the second one. SpongeBob's cooking in the crusty crab kitchen, cooking patties with precision, got that pizzazz. But oh boy, he misplaced his footing. Stubbed his toe on a crabby patty, that's no jazz. Oh SpongeBob, you're a rockin' yellow sea star. Bumping in the burger scars will heal you'll go far. 
In the deep blue sea, us starfish dreams of the dear friend named Sponge. So it seems, longing to be together, side by side, an unlikely bond. Nothing can divide. Under the ocean's gentle sway, starfish and Sponge, their love will stay. Dancing to the jazz of the sea of friendship forever, wild and free. Yeah, but I can keep regenerating this. So all I'm doing is I'm clicking on regenerate. Great, and I can change it over and over again. These are my top five AI tools that are turn inspiration into creation.